Hey everyone, Dave from Repair Daily. So isn't it just a wonderful thing when uh, you do a job and you have to do it again through no fault of your own? So that's what we're gonna talk about today and uh, just stay tuned. Well, that's our problem. The issue is we put a new carburetor on this. This is actually the second carburetor and we've got a pulsing. And the first thought is the jets need adjusted, but these new carburetors, the jets are fixed. And we're gonna talk about that. Let me tear into this and we'll get into a little bit more. Okay, so let me tell you what's going on here. Uh, this is a five horsepower Craftsman tiller. Um, that I'm planning on reselling. I pulled it out, fired it up, and uh, didn't want to run. So, um, give you a little bit of background. I'm very familiar with carburetors, uh, rebuilt quadrajets in the past, and dual line hollies, and you know, these little carburetors for these uh, mowers and garden tractors are usually pretty simple. So, I find that this is available on Amazon for like 25 bucks. So, I ordered one in. First one I ordered in, some of these screw holes were not tapped. So that one had to go back. So I sent it back. So I thought, well, I did see where some people said that the holes were not tapped or threaded wrong and different things. So I, I thought, well, you know, we'll, we'll give it a try. What's the chance I'll get a bad one? Well, I did. So that one went back and I thought, what's the odds of me getting two bad ones? So this is the second one and you just heard it run and it pulsates as it runs well the problem typically is the jets need adjusted well on these the jets are fixed and are not adjustable so instead of keep playing with these new chinese um, carburetors off of amazon i decided to go back to the original and they don't usually run as well as the originals when you rebuild them so that's what this one was this is the old original and we're going to rebuild it these are, are really kind of simple carburetors um they have a removable jet uh, and it's adjustable that we're going to use but the problem with these what typically happens is the diaphragm so underneath this this is what's under there. It's a little diaphragm that fits and it acts like a fuel pump. That's what it is. It's a fuel pump. And the problem is with these diaphragms, um, they're rubber coated on top of a fabric. And you can see where the coating comes off and allows the fuel to bleed through the diaphragm. So I ordered some new ones in. Now, uh, warning here. I did read that the new ones are not nearly as heavy as the original ones. So let me show you one. Okay, so here you go. This is the original, the heavier duty one. And this is the really flimsy, thin rubber one that came off of Amazon. Now, um, I have read that they work fine but uh, people don't expect them to last for a long time. Uh, these do come in five packs, uh, and I will leave the link for that down in the description below. But let's get started, and uh, we'll get this off and, uh, and put the new one on. Now, a word of warning about these. There's a lot of linkage here, and what you wanna do is take lots of pictures when you disassemble these. So do your pictures in steps. Believe me, it will help you. As you start to disassemble, take pictures, start to disassemble, take more pictures, keep disassembling, take more pictures. So you can review those pictures, refer back to them and get everything hooked up uh, correctly. So let's get this thing off of here and get this rebuilt. Thank you. 
Okay, so there we have the the <laughs> new one, old new one <laughs> out. Um, and these tubes drop right down into the tank. And you can see there is a cutout on the tank to allow that to slide past in order to drop in there. So uh, it's a just something that you'll see once you get inside there. So there's that one off. So let's set this on the plate first. Make sure your surfaces are clean. I already ran this through my ultrasonic cleaner and cleaned it up really well. So you want to make sure that that's done. Make sure those both surfaces, this surface too, and that surface, you have them cleaned off good. Just set it on there. We'll get the screws started in. Let me get a couple started here and then we'll I'll back off and get this finished up. Just take your time, make sure that it's in there nicely. And then check your other side before you start tightening it down. And then when you do tighten it down, as most people realize, that you when you torque any pattern, don't torque them one to another. Always crisscross anytime you torque to make sure it goes down nice and even. So let me get this finished up. Okay, so we have the diaphragm in and like I said, we torqued it across till it's all the way down. Now opposite of the diaphragm is where the needle valve goes. And the needle valve's already been cleaned up through our ultrasonic cleaner. And just a tip, when you take these out, count them as you bring them out so you can put them back in approximately the same spot and then any final adjustments you can do right at the end so uh, let me run this in there and we'll go on okay so our needle valves in the diaphragm's been changed so let me get this mounted back up we'll hook up the uh, all the linkage and we'll see if this thing will fire Okay, some final checks on the torque. And we're all back on. Everything working properly. Throttle. So let's see if we can fire this up. Well, that sounds pretty good. Well, as you can see, we don't have any pulsing now. And uh, I'll get the air cleaner and everything back on here. So um, you can change out a carburetor if you like. Take a chance. Uh, I will put a link for that carburetor down below, too. This is a Briggs & Stratton horizontal shaft motor. And... Um, as you can see, this is the type of carburetor that mounts right to the top of the gas tank. But I would not do that if I were you. I would rebuild it with a new diaphragm, take out the needle valve and clean it. And uh, I think you'll be, be happier with the original one. But anyway, if uh, this kind of content helps you, if uh, you like this type of a video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, give me a thumbs up on the on the video and I will see you on the next video.